this morning. Looks beautiful. So quiet, so peaceful, and it's in the middle of Northampton. I came here last year for the first time, and it's less than a mile from my house. Less than a mile from my house. And I couldn't believe it. I took photographs here, if I can find them. I'll put them on here now, show you, um, and they're great photographs, I really, really like them. Uh, but today I think it's going to be an epic sunrise this morning. It's very frosty, it's very cold. I don't any, own any gloves. I'm holding my vlogging camera. I've got my camera on my back. Um, yeah, I was here a couple of days ago. Taking some photographs this same location right here. And while I was standing here taking photographs, some swans flew in from over there. About 20 swans. They just dive bombed on the lake over here. I'm hoping to stick around for that if I can. If it happens again. There's no swans in at the moment, so maybe they're due in. Maybe they come in at that time. Shall we go, lads? It's half seven, let's get down to the lake. No, they're not here at the moment. Maybe they will be, but yeah, I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna start taking photographs in a bit. here. I've got this as my foreground here. This is doing a little bit of framing over here. This side I've got these trees here. They're coming in from the left of the image. I think then. And over here I've got the right, I've got the reflections over there. The clouds that you can't see on this camera. Now you can't see me. Mess it out with the buttons. But yeah, the clouds that you can't see on the camera. I'm trying to let you see, but you can't see them. They're coming in over the back there. Nice swirly clouds. And um, I'm hoping it's going to be an epic. I'm exposing for the shadows to so try and lighten it up a bit so it can drag a bit more. This one. This one. I think it's a duck. It might be a swan, I don't know. Maybe the rest of you in. We'll see. But yeah, I'm at um, F22 for depth of field. Get all the way through. Um, exposing for the shadows, I'm getting an exposure to eight seconds exposing for the highlights which I've done as well I'm going to um, exposure of four seconds I'm also 100 I might switch it up to uh, 160 I read somewhere or I heard somewhere that 160 is the optimum ISO I don't know how true that is but I'm mixing it about a bit I might do some HR I might do some bracketing but I'll let you know that when I post process or stick it on the photos. I've been HDR or bracketed. For doing my bracketing, I usually do it at minus one, minus two, plus one, plus two, even five exposures. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning. There's frost on the ground, not too much. It's not actually that cold. Not as cold as I thought it would be. Let me take some more photos and I'll get back to you in a bit.
think I've got what I want in this location, so I'm going to move around the corner. Sorry. I'm going to move around the corner and um, see what I can get there. I've got this little shot here through there but I noticed that the clouds are starting to go a little bit pinky and the reflections on this pool are really really nice on this lake really nice I'm shooting through here framing again can you see framing again through there Hoping I can get some colour on these leaves, they're looking a bit dark at the moment. Um, I'm underexposing by one stop. F22, I'll try F16 as well. For the moment, F22 just to get the depth of field. Um, getting a shot exposure about a third of a second. But it's looking nice, it's nice company. I don't think I can take a bad shot around here, wherever they go. Looks lovely everywhere. Yeah, um, I'm going to continue taking photos. Again, I'll do some bracketing. Again, I'll do HDR. But if they are bracketed or HDR photos, I'll put that up on the um, video after. But yeah, I'm going to get on it. Moved again. Moved again to another location. Um, the clouds are coming in from the wrong way. But the, it's so flat and calm here. A little bit of ripples out there where all the birds are. It's so flat and calm here, and I can get a great photo of it. I'm using this tree as my foreground here. There you can just see the colour of the sun coming up over there. But there's some clouds up here, which are turning a nice colour. And there's a dead squirrel in the lake. You won't be able to see it. A dead squirrel. Poor boy. Anyway, let's take some photos. locations uh, loads of photos I'm gonna go home it's gonna be a short one today because um, I've got a lot to do today Saturday we've got to go to visit family in Birmingham but first I've got to take my whole car back um, eight o'clock in the morning I'm supposed to be waking the wife up around about now Sorry about that. Yeah, don't do waking the wife up. I might try and get a couple of shots on the way back. I'll be honest, I'm disappointed. There's no mist on the lake. I wanted mist, I was expecting mist. It's nice and frosty and cold. I could do with a bit of mist on the lake. Yeah, 
I'm done. So I'll see you on the next one. I'll leave you with a few views of Delapri Abbey on my way out. But it is beautiful. The sun's just peeking up now, look. I might take one more shot. One more. Just there. All right, in a bit. So folks, that is Delapri Abbey. I hope you liked it, my first vlog in the UK. It's a lovely place. Less than a mile from my house. Didn't know it existed till last year. Lived here for 30 odd years. Yeah, I'm gonna call this one done. I'll show you the photos at the end, uh, which is now course I'll show you the photos I took I might put some up that I took the other day as well put some of them up but I've enjoyed the morning it's eight o'clock the wife will be getting worried I've got to take a higher car back and we've got to travel to Birmingham so until the next time Torah a bit